It was just recently that the US Congress talked about XRP. They said they want to use it and work with Ripple Labs to add a CBDC to the XRP ledger in order to try to beat Russia, China, and the other BRICS countries. If they do decide to use XRP, the value of your XRP digital asset will go up, possible to go over $9,769, as Mr. King XRP said. He even tells you to mark August 1st on your calendar. But that's not all. There are many videos of members of the US Congress saying that they plan to use XRP and also try to fire Gary Gensler because of how he's handling the Ripple's SC lawsuit and XRP. Of course, we're going to play all the clips, but here's more proof that Gary Gensler should be fired for going too far in cases like Ripple and Coinbase, as well as his stand on XRP and the Ripple South Carolina lawsuit. Let's play the movie. CBC is one type of digital dollar that can be issued by the public. It would be backed and controlled by the Federal Reserve and have the full support of the US government. This could be used instead of current payment methods and have benefits like instant payment settlement, a way to make deals across borders and helping more people get access to money. More than 130 countries are looking into making their own digital currencies that are backed by the government. There are already pilot projects going on in China, Russia, Saudi Arabia, and India. And there might be a digital euro test as early as 2028. In the meantime, the US is still very far behind, even though there is more and more clear knowledge about digital features. CBD is one of many. This means that a provisional registration authority protects people from doing certain things, but people can still be punished. Under provisional power, no cases against people are put on hold. That is not true at all. Also, it's not true that the SEC has won almost 130 cases. About 130 cases were solved. And they don't make sense or fit together. We saw the most current example of this last week when Torres ruled in the XRP case, also known as the Ripple case. A temporary register is what we need because of this. Now, let's talk about what XRP is really worth, which could go through the roof and reach thousands of dollars, as some experts have said. We're giving away some tasty XRP to you guys. If you want to win, all you have to do is hit like, subscribe, and share this movie. From what you can see, XRP is currently moving upwards, which is a great sign that it might make a huge rise. We did work with MetalCrypto.com to make sure you could get personalized repos, XRP gold coins, and your own XRP clothing. Uh, there are XRP phone covers, hitties, socks, hats, and a lot more to talk about. Plus, you guys will get better prices, even though it's already less than $15 to get your own customized Ripple XRP gold coin. Uh, it's going to cost you less than $5 if you use the code free $10. Guys, the price is $15 but you can get a personalized Ripple XRP Gold coin for less than $5. In exchange for $0.99, you get a pair of socks with a unique XRP logo on them. This is less than the price of a normal pair of socks. Guys, you should check out MetalCrypto.com. They have more than just XRP items. They also have a lot of other cryptocurrency clothing, like a juicy Ripple XRP Gold coin. There is also Bitcoin, Solana, Ethereum, Litecoin, Polkadot, Jasmine, and a lot more. Without a doubt, visit MetalCrypto.com to see them. We will also talk more about them in the video. This is what I always try to say. The main point I always try to make is that cryptocurrencies are not money. And the biggest mistake in this whole conversation is the idea that if crypto isn't doing a good job of replacing the US dollar, then it's not doing its job. What I think we'll talk about a bit today is the idea that a lot of crypto is about replacing centralized banking with networks that let users run them instead of bank CEOs. The digital goods that are values are more like stocks on the stocks on the stock market. If you think there will be a lot of traffic on the internet, you bet on Google. If you think people will go back to the post office, you short Google. That being said, neither Ethereum nor Ripple nor anything else is trying to take the place of the US dollar. It wants to take the place of a way of sending value, which we'll talk about in more detail later. So I don't think prices are as important as Google's instability, which was very volatile in the early days of the company. The Federal Reserve has said in public many times, including this time where I'm showing you on the screen, that XRP will likely be used to help with the blockchain parts of their FedNAP payment system. This comes after rumors of talks with Ripple. In fact, the report says that FedNow's relationship with Metal Blockchain for quick conversions between fiat and stable coins is a big step towards bridging the gap between traditional banking and decentralized finance. Right now, the only quick ways for our citizens to pay each other within the country are through third-party apps like Venmo and PayPal or digital wallets for cryptocurrencies. Since the platform is still in its trial phase, more than 120 organizations such as solution providers are using it. Then it talks about Ripple and XRP in particular as a well-known payment service for international transfers and an open solution distributed technology for financial transactions. It also says that they are likely to use Ripple for FedNow, which is where they use their payment method. Ripple will be used for the blockchain part of the FedNow system. You might think this is a one-time thing, but it's not. This is another video, an audio clip. In this one, the Federal Reserve says they will use XRP to connect money from different, different places and countries. In fact, pay close attention to this clip. This means that the tracks will lead to some kind of digital currency. Do you think it's a chance that executive orders and laws are being released right now that talk about a Federal Reserve digital dollar? From my point of view, it's now normal. I mean, I'm not sure how far along they are. I have looked into this a fair amount. Some people want to put the CBDC on top of an existing currency like XRP or another one that works well and has been tried. That could definitely be done. 
and if it were, it might speed up the process of this coming to light. For now, let's talk about the XRP ledger. The XRP ledger is not just based on XRP. We've been talking about one token for a long time, and I'm really keeping a close eye on it, because for one, I've been collecting it, and for another, I think it has a lot of potential to become the most valuable token on the XRP system. It's called the CTF token, and it's the first time that awards were given for passive income. That's really pumping, guys. It's gone up more than 9% in the last 24 hours alone. And guys, if you look at the charts, this is a huge green chart, like what happened in March and April when it did a sign line and a huge rise up to its all-time high. It looks like the same thing is going on. It is moving sideways, and then you will see that huge breakout really push up, going above its all-time high. What we've really been seeing here is a steady trend in the technical analysis picture. It goes up and then down, kind of like a reversal. It goes sideways and then back up spikes, hits passes and all that high. This could be the break we've been waiting for since everyone is looking at it, and it's very, very new. I mean, there are only 3,000 holders out of a total supply of 120 million, so this is very new. It could easily experience a massive breakout due to supply shock since there isn't enough to go around. However, demand seems to be rising every day, much faster than anyone would have thought. When guys look at the XRP ledger, they get the same idea. It has a lot of promise and could make a huge breakout. In fact, I'm going to put a link to the CTF token website in the description below. It talks all about the blockchain generated passive income rewards framework. If you're interested in passive income making money while you sleep by earning rewards, this is your chance and you can get your money back. The CTF token website also has them so you can go ahead and check them out there. They are on the Polygon chain and the XRP database. There is, in fact, a lot more information about how to learn more about the CTF system. Due to the fact that I am not a financial advisor, I always tell people to do their own study. This is not advice about money. Of course, you should always find out more on your own. That being said, keep an eye on what's going on with the XRP ledger and with Ripple and XRP around the world because the US Congress is trying to get as much as they can. There have been many reports that show large institutions like JP Morgan and BlackRock are manipulating the XRP market by buying it up and driving down its value. However, when Trump takes office in November, that's likely to change and the government will open up to crypto. This confirms what we already knew Congress will be looking at XRP and then the XRP ETF, which we've been talking about on this channel for a while now. While some people say it might not happen, the facts show that it must happen after an XRP ETP, which Ripple has already created. That could happen in the next few months or right away after the new government takes over. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe to the channel with your current events, share this video and follow. Me on all of my social media sites, including Twitter, Instagram and Rumble. All of those links will be below. Thanks for watching. See you next time and have a nice day.